Sorry, I didn't see you there. I pledge to do my best for Theral and work to achieve school goals. I am committed to striving to do better. I am continuously improving. I will look up and not down. I will look forward and not back. I will uphold the standard of excellence and become the finest individual that I can possibly be. I am a global citizen, positively impacting every life that I reach. I am college bound, college ready, and committed to succeed in life. I am a Theral Panther. Powerful. Good morning, students, and welcome back to the best high school in Atlanta. This is your daily reminder of the behavioral and academic expectations set forth for on our campus. We are a uniform school in a PBIS school. In you know, Ms. Powell always talks about this school being a PBIS school. What does that mean? PBIS means Positive Behavior Intervention Supports. Okay, but what does that mean for us students? Well, the PBIS program is a way to reinforce positive behaviors throughout the school. All students are expected to be in uniform each and every day, demonstrating the expectations of the Panther Five. We must be punctual, prepared, professional, positive, and persistent at all times and in all locations around our campus. We must be on time to class with our materials, with a positive attitude, ready to turn in homework and other assignments. This is the expectation of all DM Theral scholars. These posters are all around campus. In the classrooms, hallway, restrooms, cafeteria, media center, and in areas of arrival and dismissal. The poster tells you the expectations of the Panther Five, so pay attention to them. And did I tell you that the PBAS program and knowledge and reward students for following the Panther Five expectations? How? Oh. Well, these hero points can be redeemed for celebrations, dress down days, and entry to the celebrity basketball game today. Oh, okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's March 4th, Friday, 2016, and I'm Devin Pittman. I'm, and I'm Devaya High. And this is your new show. Well, Devaya, what interesting things happened this week? Well, there was a health fair on Monday. What happened during the health fair? So during the health fair, there were a few representatives from different companies coming out to promote good health. They gave away a few of their products, and there was also a few free screenings. But if you want to know more, we, caught, we did manage to catch up with Ms. Valentine to tell you more about it. I trust that we will one day learn that the heart can never be totally right if the head is totally wrong. That's Dr. Martin Luther King. And then we should also be reminded of the danger of zeal without knowledge and sincerity without intelligence. Well, what does that have to do with the health fair, Ms. Valentine? Everything. Power is knowledge. Knowledge is empowering. And in our communities, we definitely need to be empowered. Uh, we don't want to be ignorant to what's in our surroundings, and we want to empower our students by giving them the knowledge. So we invited some people here to in the community that could offer our students some knowledge and also resources, such as the Fulton County Department of Health. We had Spine Align. They gave uh, free spine screenings, and we actually have some people following up, so that was actually a wonderful thing. Uh, Everest College came and gave us, uh, introduced us to massage therapy, and also they took our blood sugar levels and our cholesterol levels. We had, uh, the staff benefited from that as well as the students because we do have some diabetics um, and some people with high cholesterol walking around here, believe it or not. There you have it. Also, Google stopped by this week to pay us a visit. You're right, Google did stop by. So do you know what they came here for? When Google stopped by, they brought us their new product, the Google Cardboard. What is the Google Cardboard? The Google Cardboard is a pair of goggles that shows us a 3D representation of the virtual reality. So did you guys actually get a chance to use the Google Cardboard? Yes, I actually did. When I used the Google Cardboard, we got to experience different simulations because we got to see studios, we got to see the jungle, we got to see rivers, mountains, and even animals. With these simulations, it was a good perspective to see everything from a 3D perspective. Also, I'd like to send a congratulations to our very young Devin Pittman, who entered the video for the Black History Unsung Heroes contest and won. Uh, and our video winner was Mr. Devin Pittman. Uh, 
So Devin, could you tell us a little bit more about that? For the contest, I had submitted a video that was about Bayard Rustin and Claudette Calvin. Claudette Calvin was a 15-year-old woman that had got arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger. On the other hand, Bayard Rustin was the right-hand man to Martin Luther King who assisted him on the march on Washington. Now for current events, today we have a celebrity basketball game and for the basketball game we caught up with Coach Harris to give us a quick scoop on what may happen for tonight's game. Good morning Therapathists, I want to make sure that you bring yourself and anybody you know to the DM Thera second annual celebrity basketball game with Hot 1079, Reese in the streets, he's going to bring some celebrity friends. Last year, he brought a couple of celebrity friends that were in and out and played, some possibly performed. Make sure you come to the game, bring all your friends. It costs 20 hero points, you get in for free. 10 hero points, it costs you a dollar. Or you can pay $2 and get in for free. Make sure that you come out, support the right team, which is my team, DM Thero, Falcon, and staff, and make sure that you come out and make a whole lot of noise and support. Thank you. Lastly, we have the Thero's Got Talents tickets. Yes, Thero's Got Talent. The tickets are on sale. $2 with hero points, three without, $5 for regular admissions at the door, and $7 for VIP access. So please be sure to cop your tickets today. All right, so I want to start off sports this week by giving a shout out to our boys and girls track team. They both did good in their meet on Tuesday. Also, our boys and girls soccer team have been, have been playing well lately. Both their records are three to one. Now, next week is actually a really big week for all of our sports teams. Each, each of them have at least one game next week, so be sure to come out and support them. Well, that's all for this week, folks. My name is Devin Pittman. And I'm Devaya High. We'll see you later.